Palm readers, psychics, fortune tellers. Orange County Sheriff's investigators say the businesses are all legitimate, run by women of the ROM, an age-old culture known as gypsies. Well, this is Sandra Cooter Anderson. She's 30 years old. She's worked between South Florida and Philadelphia. Cooter Anderson is the cover girl for a gypsy business that doesn't play by the rules. It's a romance con game the gypsies call the sweetheart swindle or sugar daddy job. This is uh, Susan Chicken Frank. Local Six has learned these gypsies have fleeced widowed men across the country for millions. Now, Orlando's senior population has been caught in the same trap. Why now? Good question. I think uh, Orlando is, uh, is becoming a kind of an open city. Undercover agent John McMahon says Central Florida's aging gypsy barrow or leader, Johnny Russell Johnson, doesn't hold influence with the gypsy outsiders anymore. That may have opened the door for the bizarre marriage of this woman to an 86-year-old man. I love my father very much. To, the, to see this happen to him, I'm ashamed and embarrassed. Cecilia wants to keep her father's name out of this. She came to Local 6 to expose the sweetheart swindle. Her family has already posted an annulment request in the local paper, but the damage is done. Well, when in the world did it evolve into, I now pronounce you man and wife? That I don't know. Cecilia says her father knew his gypsy bride as Sonia Thompson. Investigators say that's one of many names. In fact, the day of the civil ceremony, she suddenly announced her name was Nancy Days. That's how she signed the Orange County marriage certificate. Her father met his future bride in the parking lot of this Save-A-Lot grocery store on Silver Star Road last September. She cooked meals for him and spent time with him. But Local 6 has learned she was actually renting this Orlando property under the name Sonia Thompson. She was five blocks away from her victim. Within two months after he'd met her, they were married. And then the cash started going out. $21,000 cash for a white Cadillac Escalade. Another 6000 for personal and medical bills. And worst of all, family heirlooms, their mother's rings. None of the victims, I would say, are forced. I would say they're manipulated. Phone records obtained by Local 6 show Nancy Days did make several calls to members of the local gypsy clan. In fact, she was spotted in town with this man, identified as Teddy Days. She left behind her 86-year-old victim. She's done something wrong, and, she, and he's probably not the first, and he's probably not going to be the last. Detectives tell us Nancy Days was actually spotted in South Florida last week. We have also found a link to a local pawn shop that may have accepted those family rings. And finally, Local 6 has learned similar scams are being played out right now on an Internet dating service. That story in the next few days. Mike Holfeld, Local 6, Problem Solvers.